Hey guys, Sleepy Reader here with a quick and dirty um, contest entry. This is for uh, White James Brandon's 100 subscriber contest. He's got a stack of mostly random comics he's giving away, uh, but uh, interesting, interesting little contest. I want to state my my answers to his questions, and I want to. Um, just say that he's got a great channel and I watch him every week. He's got great, great thoughts. He's a great guy. Uh, always really interesting what his reaction to his comics are. And he produces a, uh, he, I mean, I don't think he's whis missed more than a week or two in all the time I've been missing, watching him. <laughs> so, uh, just really enjoyed his channel for however long it's been going. It feels like the better part of a year. So I think it's taken people a while to discover him. but well worth discovering. So, um, his questions were, what character do you think, in comic books of course, do you think is overexposed and would like to see less of? And what character do you think hasn't had enough exposure and you'd like to see more of? So I'll start with the overexposed character. Um, my first thought was Wolverine, but then I thought, well, yeah, everyone says that. Um, Batman could also, that claim could be made for Batman also. Uh, and Wolverine, I do think, has been hurt by his overexposure, but I decided the character I'd really like to see less exposed to make what things he does appear in stronger is Captain America. Um, we have tons of Avengers and Avengers-related comic books, and they often use Captain America as kind of the thread that runs through them all. And, you know, the fact that he's kind of a member of the Illuminati and the New Avengers and stuff makes him like this, one of the most powerful, important superheroes in the, um, in the Marvel Universe. And although symbolically he's kind of this important guy, I kind of feel like he was a better character when he was a little more street level, a little more like Daredevil or something. Um... So I would like him to not appear in all the Avengers comic books, maybe just one Avengers comic book, and not be so involved in the cosmic and the um, earth-shattering stuff, and more fighting smaller, smaller issues, smaller villains, uh, in the closer to real-life America, if you will. Um, obviously still a comic book America. Um, I love stuff... I mean, it can't be the same as it was back in the 70s or early 80s, but I loved stuff when he was involved with um, with racism and patriotism and interesting issues about America. Um, so anyway, I just like to see him become a smaller character. He'd be more interesting to me that way. Um, instead, he's kind of used as the policeman of the Marvel Universe, and I just, just don't like him that way, and I kind of miss the older version of Captain America. He always was in the Avengers a lot, but they've just used him so much in the Avengers, and, and there are so many Avengers books that he just feels overexposed, for too overexposed for his own good. And then, <laughs> this is very obvious, but I don't know if other people will be saying this because he's not in anyone's current continuity, but I would like to see more Commandy. And I have kind of a dream team for bringing back Commandy, which is Keith Geffen, who's done excellent Jack Kirby-esque work um, here and there, most notably in OMAC, but apparently even in Masters of the Universe, um, He-Man, He-Man Masters of the Universe, or whatever that's called, and He's done some stuff in the Legion of Superheroes that looked fantastically Kirby-esque. So I'd like to see him drawing Commandy, and this is really way out, but I'd like to see Robert Kirkman writing Commandy. Um, but I suppose Geffen doing it with any good writer would probably be good. Um, but preferably a character, uh, a writer who can go off in slightly unusual directions. Um, so those are my those are my answers to to Brandon's questions. Check out White James Brandon, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.